in November 2014, my ex-husband and I separated. When he had the kids, I was very lonely, and um, probably end of December, um, I got online and found Sam. He was gorgeous, this vegan, tall. I mean, I was like, how is this guy talking to me? You get kind of drawn into this, especially when you're lonely. So probably five days in, he started telling me, I love you, I want to be with you. Five days in? Yes. What did you think? I mean, I felt like I was in love with him after a while. Yeah, for sure. The thing is that he knows how to become what you want. Like the first time we talked, he asked me what were the 10 qualities that I look for in a man. And he became those 10 things, not because that's who he is, but because he was molding himself into what I wanted. So she gave him those answers and then he became that person. I swear this is like a sci-fi thing where the evil robot morphs into exactly God. what you want it to be or something. It's like, what is the motivation? Why does she do this? You know, I mean, is she just evil? Is she lonely? I don't know. I would want to meet him, you know, the day after Christmas we were supposed to meet. Oh, he was sick. And then we were supposed to meet for New Year's Eve and he fell asleep, but it, there was always an excuse and we would never meet. So I would continuously kind of start questioning him. So he would say, fine, do you want a picture in a yellow shirt or a pink shirt? And I, I'd be like, a yellow shirt. And then he'd send me a picture of him in a yellow shirt. It wasn't me asking for a specific thing. It was a collage that he had and he would say, okay, I have a yellow shirt and a pink shirt. So do you want a yellow shirt or a pink shirt? And then, and then it would, in my mind, trick me into thinking, Oh, okay, yes, this, he put on a yellow shirt for me and took this picture. And that's part of the manipulation. So then I'm continuing my relationship with Sam, not meeting him, making plans, he never shows up. And then like two weeks after New Year's, he started all of a sudden out of the blue said, my best friend, um, Jackson Walker. And I was like, who? She catfished us all with this male character named Sam, but Sam, always had like a very strong female character, but that person, her name was different. Like it was Jackson with Christy, but it was Lindsay with me. He calls and says that Jackson Walker had to have heart surgery and that she's in Oklahoma and there's no family here and she doesn't have anybody to take care of her and could I please help her? Okay, okay. So Jackson Walker has had ho surgery. Heart, open heart surgery. And okay, well, Sam, first, first, this the is man you are now in love with who now loves you. Yes, and I would wants say you to go take we care were of definitely, her. I was definitely had strong feelings for him mm -hmm. and I thought he had strong feelings for me. But he wanted her to come and stay with me. He wanted her, me to physically take care of her because she just had surgery. So she came and she moved in with you? She basically lived with me for oh. two weeks. 